We're going to do a quick feeding video and husbandry video for the C. Cayenneo pubescens or the GBB, green bottle blue. We're just going to call it GBB because it rolls off the tongue a lot better. So you can see my specimen in here. I've got the light on because you really need to see these guys under light to appreciate the coloration. This is a beautiful spider. This is one on my list of beginner species. I have it toward the kind of advanced beginner, moderately difficult species. Um, the husbandry of these guys is absolutely simple. They are totally one of the most hardy species I have. They require um, dry substrate. They web like crazy. A water dish and that's about it. Uh, temperatures for this one, as I bought them as uh, three quarter inch slings. I would keep them in the Jamie's sling enclosures until they got about an inch and a half, you know, inch and a half, inch and three quarter inches long and then transplanted them. During that time, all I did was add some water to their webbing because they'd web right over their water dishes. Um, temperatures were kept between 70 and 76 or so during the winter and during the summer mid 70s to low 80s. Uh, they grow like weeds, fast growers, and this is one species that I encourage anybody that's interested in them to pick them up as slings because the color changes they go through um, as they mature are just amazing. They're just an awesome spider to watch grow up. So I'm going to pass this over to Sid while I toss in the roach, see if I can get to eat. I also have to do some cleaning of the enclosure, and it's a lot easier to do if it's got something in its mouth. So I'm going to try to do that um, while I'm talking. So here you go, Sid. And I'm just going to pop this open a little bit, toss it in. <clears throat> Feeding this one about a three-quarter inch dubia. I can get the dubia too. Oh, there we go. These guys usually have a fantastic feeding response. And of course, the dubia that's half dead isn't moving enough, so it's not going to go at it. Right away. Up, up, up. There we go. Yeah, if we hammer it open up a little bit, slide down so you can see it. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful species. Again, husbandry on these, very, very easy. They have one of the best feeding responses. Now, obviously, that wasn't a particularly good example of it, but um, of all the species I have, this is one of my favorites to feed because they will literally bolt right across an enclosure and grab up a cricket. Um, the half-dead roach, because I do, I do crush their heads before I put them in because it makes a snail burrow. Um, the half-dead roach obviously didn't elicit the same response. Um, I've found personally they grow fairly quickly if you kept them warmer. My temperatures get a little cooler in the winter. I'm sure they grow even faster. I've heard some males maturing out after about 18 months or so. Um, mine right now are a good four and a half inches long and I've had them for going on I think just about two years now. So um, again, that's due to the fact that my temperatures here aren't always as high as they are someplace else. I know I just heard of a guy that kept them in Florida and the temperatures never dropped below 80 and the female matured in like a year and a half. So beautiful species, not that difficult to keep. The one thing that would um, make me not recommend them to somebody new to tarantulas is their speed. They are very, very fast very very flighty and they will not hesitate to kick hairs mine as when they were a little bit smaller wasn't an issue as they hit the kind of the uh, sub-adult size hair kicking all the time and it doesn't take much sometimes they just pick up the enclosure to feed it and they start kicking away so that's something to be wary of if you're new to the hobby that they can move quickly and they will kick hairs um after i shot stop shooting this video i will clean out the water bowl um, keeping the water bowls full is not a lot of fun. As you can see, they web, and I'll have to pull all the web out of it and the boluses out of it and try to fill it up again. But uh, I will probably be replacing that kidney-shaped bowl with one of these little numbers, if you look over here, that I've been using for all of my now. They're disposable, and that way, if it gets all soiled and when they web it up, I can just pluck it out, stick it in the, the recycle bowls, and put a new one in. So I'll just raise this so we can get one more good look at it. This is my GBB. Green bottle blue. Good beginner species for somebody who's used to something with a little bit of speed and that will not hesitate to throw hairs. And again, as I state in most of my videos, I am not into handling. I know some people do it. That's absolutely their decision. But this is not a species I would even attempt to handle. GBB.